Hey all, Russ here over here TV, welcome. Check it out. This is Highway 191. We're heading up to Moab, Utah. This is bonus footage shot back in August. Sit back and enjoy. Well, cool, what a formation that thing is, huh? <laughs> 191 is such a beautiful road to take. I've driven this twice now. Second time, so I'm trying to remember it's been so long. That's like going through Monument Valley. Uh, I drove through there so many years ago, but just didn't remember it. But Utah is one of the prettiest states. They got it all here. They got all the national parks, all the cool canyons, towns. They have everything here. Well, we're going to end up in Moab, Utah for the night. I've reserved a place at the KOA up there. Been clocking the weather. There's supposed to be another storm front moving through. Rest area, 10 miles. Wow, look at this, huh? Red Rocks of Utah. Truckers like it. Look at this. Parking for truckers. What a view they have, huh? What's up here? They got water. Look at the greenery down through here. Hole in the rock. <laughs> Rest area or something. Cool. Tourist trap. <laughs> yeah, when you see the greenery like that, that's where the water collects. Because it's still considered desert, and guess what? They get snow here. There's more of the rest area. Trucks everywhere. Pretty good trucker route, though. I mean, it cuts them all the way through. On the east side of Utah. Pretty fast paced road though, it's kind of hard to film these kind of roads. But we'll do the best we can, huh? Yeah, we'll spend the night up in uh, Moab. Then tomorrow we're going to take one pretty drive. Hopefully the weather's good. Cut on all the way up to uh, Interstate 70. Going towards Colorado. All right, here we are. We're getting into the big town of Moab. Matter of fact, I think right up here, according to the phone, yep. 
Off to the right, right here is the KOA. This is where I'm going to spend the night. But I want to go in town, get some supplies, some fuel. Then we'll come back out here. Here we are getting into town. This is Tourist City. There's uh, two national parks just north of town here. Arches and uh, Canyonland. So this place fills up big time. Colorado River runs through here. <laughs> I mean, they got it all. And we're really close to the Colorado state line. We're not that far away at all. RVs all over. Busy time of year here in August. And they got the stores, dollar stores, grocery stores, a lot of motel hotels. Actually, I don't remember any of this. Last time I drove all the way down through town here was quite a few years. Two years ago, I came in down through the north, went through Arches National Park sure to check that video that was during the pandemic but I didn't come all the way down this way Sun outdoors fuel another inn another hotel Wow this is really built up they're supposed to have the world's largest outdoor uh, Food court. But this is Moab, is what it looks like. Actually, Moab had uh, the national spotlight put on it. There was a young couple traveling in a van that came through here and uh, ended up with a uh, tragedy at the end nationwide manhunt and all that stuff for him you see now on all the news channels but this is small town still <laughs> a lot of people come through here you know a lot of these towns are in a sense, like quartzite, sleepy low towns in their off season, but when the weather's good, tourism just explodes. Old brick front buildings, sidewalks, nice green trees. Small town USA right here. Cool. Then off to the north, it's a uh, beautiful country. We're about 35 miles to get up to Interstate 70, 40 maybe. Wendy's, I haven't seen a McDonald's yet. I probably just missed it. <laughs> More motels. Yeah, I don't remember any of this, but cool place to visit. And then 
tomorrow when we leave, right up here there should be the road that cuts us up right along the Colorado River. You can follow the Colorado clear up to uh, Interstate 70, and that's what we're going to do tomorrow. What a view when you live here. Wake up every morning. The sun rises, sun sets. I, that'd make all that red rock just turn purples and all kinds of cool colors. Well, they put that one right on top of a hill there, huh? All right, I'm just going to go up a little farther, then we'll head back for the campground. Here it is, here it is, the road up here. This is the way we're going to get out of here tomorrow. Highway 128 cut you through Castle Rock up to Interstate 70. Drove that a couple years ago. Want to do it again. Probably one of the prettiest rides you could take. But this entire area is just blessed with some of the most iconic beautiful scenic mountains canyons all kinds of good stuff it's everywhere up here as far as you can see just go way out there all the way down to Colorado River that created the a lot of these canyons down through here tons of Native American history Big open areas, just pull off the road, pull out the camera, start filming. Look at that view, huh? Absolutely gorgeous. And I see the clouds rolling back in on me. Kind of track the weather on that AccuWeather on the phone. and Thunderstorms are heading my way. Still pretty. That's a postcard picture right there, isn't it? Goodness. Okay, gonna head back up towards the campground. So we're gonna have one more video of this series tomorrow, cutting up along the Colorado on that Highway 128, leave Moab. Trust me, it's gonna be pretty and scenic. Well, the weatherman was right. <laughs> I just got parked and set up. Journey continues. Talk soon.